John Calipari has been preaching to his team, play 40 minutes or it's going to come back to bite you. With a week and several examples to get his point across, his cats got the message and applied it to Arkansas Saturday. You remember it was 23 and then it ends up being 30 at half. And that's what we got to do to finish halves because at that point, if it went to 23 to 16, all of a sudden they think they got a chance, which is what we've done 10 times this year. It went from 23 to 30. Now they know they have no chance. It was like, do not let up. Do not let up because we know usually in those type of games, we let up and let teams get back. And if you let guys like Courtney Forsen and Ronnie Clark get hot, that league can get down to six quick. So we just wanted to keep keeping the pressure on them and keep playing defense. And that's what we did. We showed today that we can keep extending our lead. So if we learn how to do this every game, it's going to be tough for teams to beat us. Of course, the Cats will be the country's new number one team when the rankings come out tomorrow. The door was opened back on Monday when Texas lost to Kansas State. These Cats had their TVs on, hoping the Longhorns would lose. We was watching the game, and I had dozed off and fell asleep. And when it was like 30 seconds left, the market round, it was like, wake up, wake up. We number one, we number one, we number one. <laughs> so it was funny. But, you know, we knew we had a chance to be number one. We knew we wasn't number one yet. Everybody thought we was going to lose today. Just like everybody thought we were going to lose against South Carolina Tuesday. We got a tough road game on Tuesday against South Carolina. You got to take that game by game. And then Saturday, you got Vanderbilt here. So, you know, we just got to keep getting better every day in practice and not try to get big-headed because we number one. I knew we had all the talent. We just had to come together and gel together really well and had to get everybody going. We still have a couple players that, you know, haven't started going, going yet. So as soon as we get everybody going and everybody in the flow, it's going to be really scary. John Calipari has his detractors who will certainly be agitated. He has another top-ranked team. But even Cal's critics cannot deny his players love him. I'm not trying to say people hate him, but it seems like every time something good happens his way, people don't like it. People looking for him to mess up, looking for us to lose. But, you know, like I said, anybody can say anything about him. I like him as a coach. That's why I wanted to come here. He's making everybody better. I got, I'm making strides I thought I'd never make, you know, adjusting my game and getting better in certain spots that I thought I never would. And, you know, he, he brought this whole team together. Like I said, it was 13 new players that never played with each other, only heard about each other. You know, to bring us together like this and let us be 19 and 0, you thank God for that. And then his coaching and building the team, just stepping up his players, it means a lot. Several Wildcats hanging out at the UK women's game today against Auburn, as well as Coach Cal peeking in on the action and UK President Lee Todd also in attendance. Second half, Lydia Watkins and one. She's pumped 10 points for the senior today. UK got up big. Auburn made a little run, but the Cats picked it up again. Amber Smith and the foul here. Make it 14 straight home wins for the Cats. 68-50 the final. UK is now 16-3, and 4-2 and in the SEC, and has won all of its games by double digits. Tigers coach Nell Fortner believes this is the best UK team she's seen in her six seasons at Auburn. They went to the NCAA tournament a few years back, and that was a pretty good team. But I think this team might be better than that team, actually, um, even though it doesn't have that big post player like they had in, in when they went to the tournament. But um, this team plays with just so much harder and the energy and the, the defensive presence that it has. We can't get too wound up right now. We just really need to work hard to stay humble and hungry. Louisville hosting Cincinnati today. Bearcats cut the Cards lead to two with a 12-2 run, but Reginald Delk has a big answer for Louisville. And the shooter gets the touch there. Louisville wins 68-60. Delk makes the Jack King Ford play of the day.